Hi guys, welcome back to Fly High Balloons Creations. Thanks for all the likes, shares, and comments on our videos. We really appreciate all the love and support. If you're new here, we are glad to have you. My name is Deborah, and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, we have got a special treat for you today. We are going to show you how to create this stunning Valentine's spiral balloon column that will add a touch of love to any celebration. It is easy, affordable, and a perfect way to impress your special someone. So let's get started. Materials needed are a balloon sizer box. It is very important that your balloons are properly and equally sized. That is the biggest key to a professional look. You will need two balloons, colors of your choice, 11 or 12 inches. I will be using these Fashion Red 11 inches balloons by Sempertex and Fashion Pink 11 inches also by Sempertex. You will need balloon pumps. I recommend using a hand pump for inflating your foil balloons and I highly recommend using an electrical pump for inflating your latex balloons. It will save you lots of time and energy. You will need a 260 Q balloon or screen to attach your topper. For the topper, you will need a large foil balloon or a 36 inch latex balloon. I will be using this large Valentine Big Bear foil balloon for my topper. I first will begin by inflating two red balloons and sizing them down to eight inches by pressing them up against the eight inch hole of my balloon sizer box and slowly releasing the air until they just fit through. I will tie them together, making a duplet and the primary colors. I will repeat the process with the two pink balloons, making them my secondary colors. I will bring the two duplets together, taking one balloon from each duplet and twisting them together, making a quart of four balloons. And I will repeat the process until I have created eight sets of quarts. Now that all the cords are created, we will need a structure to build the column on and I will be using my balloon stand that's actually a floor lamp that I purchased from Walmart for about 10 bucks. It comes with five of these poles, but I will only be using four of them. You just screw the pole onto the base and screw the others on each other, like so. I highly recommend using weight plates or any other type of weight for outdoors or high traffic areas. Now let's build our column. 
this is what your quads should look like when placing them onto the pole. It is very important to keep the primary colors next to each other and the secondary colors next to each other. You would slide the balloons onto the pole between one of the primary colors and one of the secondary colors and swipe their position, securing them to the pole and pressing down and flattening them. The two reds should be on the opposite side of the pole and the two pinks on the opposite side of the pole. And now you are going to repeat the process eight more times, placing red and pink on the opposite side, pink on top of red and red on top of pink, swiping their position, pressing down and continuing with the process. You can check halfway through to see if you are doing it correctly. You should see the spiral form. I place the balloon on top of the pole to prevent the top balloons from popping and it also helps secure the balloons onto the pole. I use my hand pump to inflate the foil balloon and to attach the 260Q to the foil balloon. I took the 260Q balloon, placed it across the very end of the bell and rolled the bell up around the 260 all the way up until it touched the body of the balloon. I took the two ends of the 260 and tied them together in a double knot.
to attach the foil balloon to the column, I centered it right on top of the column, making sure it's nestled down in between two of the latex balloons. Then I took one end of the 260Q and snugly wrapped it around one balloon in the top quad and let it go. And I took the other end of the 260Q and snugly wrapped it around another balloon and let it go. Securing the topper to the column. I decided to add these artificial roses to the column to add a romantic atmosphere to Valentine's Day. I inserted them in two uninflated balloons and wrapped pipe cleaners around the balloons to secure the flowers inside the balloons. And I looked it for places in the column for the flowers and inserted the flowers into those areas. And there you have it, your very own DIY Valentine's Spiral Balloon Column. Whether you're celebrating with your significant other, family, or friends, this eye-catching decoration is sure to make your Valentine's Day extra special. Thanks for watching. If you like and find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more DIY tutorials and hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest creations. Happy Valentine's Day. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye.